All right, so this is an update on my first video um, about the worms that can eat plastic. Here you see the wax worms um, have still not eaten very much plastic at all. Um, some of them have pupated, so I put them in this um, container right here. Eventually, I'll put this screen lid on top of it. Um, here you see the uh, mealworms uh, have also still not done very much. They have eaten a little bit of the surface off of the styrofoam again. Um, some of them, three of them you see right here, have turned into pupas. Um, so we get a focus a little bit. There we go. There's a pupas. Um, then the superworms have once again still eaten the most of the styrofoam. Um, one of them, named Avery, apparently is a really good acrobat. And uh, this one likes to move the, uh, the bottom part of the cup. Apparently wants to go eat it somewhere else. Wants some fast food. So uh, uh, here's the superworms. Now, to make it a larger colony, I have started to pupate them uh, to get them to turn into pupas. And to do that, you need to stress out the superworms. Uh, you stress them by putting them in individual containers like this. is a tackle box, a cheap one. Um, you could also put them in pill boxes, um, but you stress them out by making them individual, by not feeding them and not giving them any water. So that's our update of week 1.5, um, halfway through week 1. Um, and uh, uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any comments or requests for any videos you'd like to see in the future, uh, please put that in the comments below. Uh, have a good day. Bye.